What's up guys, welcome back or to the channel and today as you guys can tell by the title of the video we are gonna fix that crooked steering wheel of yours and mine and honestly it's been uh, bothering me for quite a bit but uh, I think today's the day to do it because it's a little bit warmer out it's not gonna be totally freezing even though it is still pretty cold but uh, as you can see my steering wheel isn't straight but even when I am going straight and I let go of the wheel it doesn't pull to the left or to the right, it actually goes and tracks pretty good. So that's one thing that I will tell you guys is if you just recently got your alignment done or if you know your alignment is good, then this video is for you because this is just for setting the steering wheel angle and getting the steering wheel straight. As far as the actual alignment, you still need to get that done and the reason that your steering wheel might still be crooked after you get your alignment done is a lot of shops aren't used to doing uh, alignments on full axles or live axles they're used to doing it on independent front suspension so they don't know all the adjustment points and they don't always go through all the adjustment points to get everything squared off like the steering wheel and personally me i've never had my steering wheel straightened at any alignment shop even off-road shops so today we're gonna go and we're gonna take care of that it's really easy it's something you can do yourself in about five minutes uh i honestly only need two tools to do it and I would tell you the size, but mine is a Curry, so I have an upgraded steering system. It is the exact same design and has all the exact same adjustment points as a stock XJ, TJ, and ZJ, I believe. So they're all exactly the same if you need to adjust your steering in your Jeep. So I will show you on mine, but I can't tell you the size of the actual fasteners on yours because I don't have my stock one to compare to. But I know that on mine, they are, <clears throat> excuse me, they are 19 millimeter. So we will be going and doing that right now. It's going to take us about five minutes. So let's go and let's take care of that and show you guys how to get your steering wheel squared off and straight. So what you're going to want to do once you get yourself at home or on a parking lot or wherever, get yourself nice and level and set your steering wheel to where it is when you're driving and it actually drives straight. So for me, I have mine somewhere about there. So now to get it back to straight, we're going to have to go a little bit to the left. That's pretty easy to do and what I'm gonna do is leave a camera inside to show you guys the steering wheel while I actually go and do the adjustments and yours is gonna look very similar to this except it might not be as beefy the only thing is that you're gonna need to adjust today is right here this sleeve right next to your drag link or right next to your pitman arm on your drag link is this sleeve you're gonna want to loosen these two nuts and then spin this sleeve. What that does is it brings this end of the drag link and this end of the drag link closer or further apart, moving your pitman arm. When you do this, it does not move anything on the actual wheels. You're not gonna be setting your alignment, you're not gonna be moving it left and right, it's not gonna adjust how the vehicle tracks down the road. This is just gonna adjust how your steering wheel sits in relation to the rest of your actual steering or to your drag link so what we're gonna do is loosen these two and I'll leave the shot inside the the actual vehicle in the corner here so you guys can see what is happening when you're turning this so let's loosen it now Now you can actually move this sleeve and you'll see as you move the sleeve, the steering wheel will move. Now I need to go see which way to actually move this and see which way to straighten it. But that's all you need to do is rotate this sleeve until you get it straight. So let's do that and let's get mine straight. And there it is, that is straight. So now, it might be a little awkward to tighten it, but this is where you're gonna need to tighten it to get it straight. So, I'm gonna sneak a wrench in the back there, 
and I think I'm gonna cheat and I will hold the bolt and tighten the nut. Now I don't have the torque spec for this exactly, but like I usually say, tight enough, should be good. So just give her a good one because this is your steering. You do not want it coming loose. And if you really do want, which I should have done, which I probably will do later today, is throw a bit of anti-seize on that bolt because you can see just how rusty it actually gets. It gets pretty damn rusty in there and that is not going to be fun to adjust later so any seize on this piece right here on the actual sleeve and on the nuts and on the bolts would not be a bad idea but like i said that's something i will add in now jump over here and we should be a lot better I don't think it'll be exactly perfect because there is a little slop in the steering wheel. So depending on if it's cocked to the left or cocked to the right, depending on where your slop is sitting at the moment, it will actually adjust a little bit off. It won't be 100% on these older Jeeps. On a newer Jeep, I'm sure you can get it a lot better. The reason being is after a while, inside your actual uh, steering box, the gears get worn out, they get old, they don't mesh how they should so it's just gonna sit like that sometimes that's what you get i have adjusted mine i have gone as far as i can without actually damaging anything inside and that's pretty much where it's gonna sit so quick five minute adjustment two tools all you really need is a couple wrenches and you're good to go now i'm going to basically take you guys for a drive or take the jeep for a drive see if everything is as it should be and that's pretty much it from there. This is something you can do at home, in a parking lot, on the trail, anywhere you really want. It's quick and easy. I should have done it a lot sooner, but it's pretty cold out here. And even though I live in Canada and I've been born and raised in Canada, I do not like the cold. <laughs> I hate the cold. I'm ready to move to California or Texas or Arizona, anywhere where I can sweat my ass off all year round. That sounds nice to me. Well, pulling it out of the driveway and so far the uh, 10 feet that I drove it, it seems nice. It feels a lot better, but the real test will be on the street. And I'm going to have to wait until I actually get off of this street so that I can get on one that is straight. But so far, it feels pretty good. Like if I leave it straight, it goes straight. Now, like I said, it's not going to be perfect because there is a little bit of slop before it actually starts turning. Like you can see how it just bounces back that's the little bit of slop there so it will basically be like 95 percent if you have an older jeep and that's pretty much as good as you can get it without actually getting a new steering box so here's a nice straight street let's uh let go of the wheel after we line her up and She's pretty good, like like I said, it's gonna be about 95%, it won't be perfect, but it will be pretty damn good. And I would say that this is not bad at all. Like, I don't think I'm gonna get it any better than that. To be honest with you guys, this is the second time I've done it because I did it earlier this week trying to correct it and get it right. And you guys saw how it was a little bit off today, so that's how much off it was after I said it. So if you guys do go to do this, uh, don't feel bad or don't think that you did it wrong or I gave you guys bad instructions if the first time you do it It doesn't come out perfect because it's not that easy to get your wheels perfectly straight when your wheel is off So try parking your vehicle and getting your wheels perfectly straight when your wheel is kind of cocked off It's not as easy as you think especially with like bigger tires and a short wheelbase now, maybe that's just me. Maybe I don't know how to drive. <laughs> but honestly, guys, uh, it took me two tries being straight up with you. So if it takes you guys more than one try, don't beat yourself up about it. Uh, if it's an older Jeep, that's basically how it's going to go. It's a little bit of trial and error. And 
I think the easiest way to do it would be how I did it the second time. The second time I rolled back and forth like four or five times and I let go of the wheel and let it adjust itself to straight. The first time I did it, I sat there and I kind of just played with it and looked at the tires and just checked it and I didn't get it perfect. So if you guys do want to get yours adjusted exactly perfect, roll it back and forth a few times or go into a parking lot and get it to just drive straight and once it drives straight and the wheel settles itself, just stop, hop out, do the adjustment and then you're on your way because it's not a long adjustment, it's not like you're going to be under there wrenching for hours. So you can definitely get it done in a parking lot. So yeah, it's not too bad. You can see it's not perfect. It is a still a little bit to the right but it's pretty damn good. Like, I'm honestly happy with it. I don't think I'm gonna need to adjust it again. I think that we should be good to go. And now at least you guys know how to do it yourself. So if this video was helpful to you, then definitely jump down there, hit that like button. It helps me out more than you think. And leave me a comment. I love chatting with you guys. So there, we have a nice straight section of, uh, section. There, we have a nice straight piece of road so you can see exactly how much it's off. It's really not off that much, and I'm not holding the wheel at all. It does track a little bit off, but that's to be expected with the mud tires. It hits any inconsistencies and it starts to pull it, but you can see it's pretty damn good. So I'm happy with it for today. I'm gonna call that a successful adjustment. And if you guys need to do yours, now you know how. And without boring you guys too much, I think I'm gonna cut off the video here today because I don't really have too much else to show you or to do. So I think that's it. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then jump down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button because there's tons more content coming your way. And if you guys enjoy off-roading and Jeeps and anything to do with off-roading and Jeeps, <laughs> then definitely I have content for you guys. We will be taking this thing off-road soon. So if you guys wanna see that, then definitely I hope to see you guys in the next one. And until then guys, ride safe out there. So peace. Where they told you what to chase Told you how to run the race Every move was on the page But I didn't like their way